Astronomers at the University of Hawaii have discovered a new class of cosmic explosions named Extreme Nuclear Transients, or ENTs. Most of us think we already know what the most violent events in the universe are. Supernovae, gamma ray bursts, maybe black holes swallowing stars. But in recent years, astronomers stumbled across something even more intense. A new kind of cosmic explosion, so powerful, so luminous, and so long-lasting, they had to create a new name for it. Extreme Nuclear Transients, or ENTs. These aren't your typical supernovae or black hole flares. They shine up to 25 times brighter than any known supernova and they stay visible. Not for hours, not for days, but for years. And here's the wild part. They happen when stars are shredded by supermassive black holes, but not in the way we thought. Today, scientists believe these ENTs could unlock new secrets about how black holes grew in the early universe, how galaxies fed them, and maybe even how galaxies themselves evolved. In this video, we explore what ENTs really are, how they were discovered, and why they're rewriting our understanding of cosmic violence on a scale we've never seen before. It started like most breakthroughs in astronomy do, with a blip. Back in 2018, a team of astronomers using the Zwicky Transient Facility in California noticed something strange. A flash of light appeared in a distant galaxy. At first, they thought it was a supernova, the typical death of a massive star. But this light didn't fade. In fact, it kept shining for years. And not just dimly, it was ultra bright, outshining the entire galaxy it came from. The astronomers were stunned. Supernovae usually peak and fade within weeks, but this, it was just getting started. Over the next few years, the same team, along with researchers from telescopes around the world, found more of these bizarre events. All of them shared the same traits. They were 25 times brighter than regular supernovae. Their light persisted for 1,000 days or more. They all seem to be located in the center of distant galaxies, the region where supermassive black holes reside. Eventually, these explosions got a name, extreme nuclear transients. And from that point on, astronomers knew this wasn't just a rare version of something we'd seen before. This was a completely new category of cosmic event. So what could cause something this powerful? At first, the leading theory was what's known as a tidal disruption event, where a star gets too close to a black hole and is ripped apart by its gravity. We've seen those before, but ENTs didn't behave the same way. They were too bright, too long, and too chaotic. Some researchers proposed that we might be witnessing multiple massive stars being consumed one after the other, perhaps in a star cluster falling into the galactic center. Others believe it's something even more exotic, like primordial black holes or unique accretion patterns that only occur under rare galactic conditions. And here's where it gets even more fascinating. These ENTs aren't just rare spectacles, they might be windows into the past. Some of the galaxies where these explosions were detected are billions of light years away, which means we're seeing them as they were billions of years ago, back when the universe was young, back when galaxies were forming their first black holes. These explosions might be clues to how black holes grew so quickly and how they helped shape the structure of the cosmos, and this is just the beginning, because as telescopes get better, we're starting to realize ENTs might not be rare at all. They might have been happening all along. We just didn't have the tools to see them. Let's break this down. We've seen big explosions in space before, supernovae, gamma ray bursts, even tidal disruption events when stars fall into black holes. So what exactly sets these new extreme nuclear transients, ENTs, apart? It's not just about brightness, it's about scale, duration, and location. ENTs don't flash and fade, they linger for years. In astronomical terms, that's like a fireworks show that never stops. And their light? 
It's not just a flash of energy, it's sustained radiation, powerful enough to outshine 100 billion stars combined. But the real clue lies in where they happen. Every single ENT detected so far has occurred in the nucleus of a galaxy, the region near a supermassive black hole. Black holes don't emit light on their own. What we see is the matter around them, gas, dust, or even stars getting pulled in and heated to extreme temperatures. That's how accretion works. That's how quasars glow. So when astronomers see a galaxy's core suddenly light up like a small universe, something dramatic is happening near that black hole. One theory, these explosions could be triggered by multiple stars falling into the black hole at once, maybe an entire cluster that drifted too close. As each star is shredded and consumed, the energy released isn't just chaotic, it becomes sustained, layered, and vastly amplified. But there's another angle, and it's even more bizarre. Some researchers believe ENTs could represent a new kind of feedback loop. The black hole doesn't just consume, it might also be releasing energy back into the galaxy, fueling a prolonged reaction. Think of it like a cosmic engine. Matter goes in, a storm of energy bursts out, and for a while, the galaxy's core becomes a beacon visible across the universe. Here's the kicker though. When astronomers compared the light spectrum of these ENTs with known cosmic phenomena, they found a distinctive chemical fingerprint, a mix of helium, carbon, and iron, but also unusual elements like nickel-56, which decays slowly and fuels the long-lasting light. That combination doesn't match typical supernovae. And it doesn't quite fit tidal disruptions either. So we're likely seeing something new, or a combination of things we've never seen in this way before. It's like stumbling upon a new species in the wild. You can recognize pieces of it, the teeth of a predator, the speed of prey, but together it doesn't fit any known category. That's where ENTs sit right now, at the edge of known physics, teasing us with light from billions of years ago, whispering secrets we haven't cracked yet. The cosmos doesn't just evolve on its own, it's sculpted over billions of years by violent events. And extreme nuclear transients, as strange and rare as they seem, might be far more than cosmic fireworks. They could be sculptors of galaxies. Let's rewind a bit. We know that galaxies aren't just scattered collections of stars. They're highly structured, with spiral arms, dense cores, star-forming regions, and most importantly, a massive black hole at the center. For decades, scientists thought those black holes were just passive passengers. But now, we know they're central to a galaxy's entire life cycle. And that's where ENTs might fit in. When an ENT erupts, it releases more energy than millions of supernovae combined, blasting radiation, plasma, and particles into its host galaxy. That kind of outburst doesn't just light up the sky, it alters everything around it. The massive radiation heats up surrounding gas clouds, preventing them from collapsing into new stars. That's called feedback, where a black hole's activity regulates how much material stays in the galaxy. Over time, this feedback can reshape the arms of spiral galaxies, warp stellar orbits, or even create voids where stars once were. In other words, ENTs aren't just consequences of galactic evolution, they might drive it. And if that's true, it changes how we look at the entire universe, because it means the black hole in the center of our own Milky Way, Sagittarius A, could someday erupt too. Maybe not today or tomorrow, but the blueprint is there. If a similar chain of events happens here, our quiet galactic center could become a cosmic lighthouse, outshining every star in the sky. Of course, scientists aren't predicting doomsday, but they are paying close attention. New telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope and the upcoming Vera Rubin Observatory are being calibrated to spot more ENTs in the early universe. With enough data, we might finally understand how often they happen and how far their influence really reaches. And maybe one day we'll stop seeing these explosions as bizarre cosmic mysteries and start seeing them for what they truly are signals from the beginning of time about how galaxies live, grow, and end.